Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for a story? It's Pleasant Pathways from Poppy. Time for your daily walk through one of the uh, classic stories of your childhood. Here we go today, Walt Disney's version of the Ugly Stepsisters. The Ugly Stepsisters. A little bit about Cinderella today. I want to say a couple of things beforehand. I'll repeat them afterwards. Always be kind no matter what. No matter what, always be kind. Do not give up even when people or a situation or a, a situation or a circumstance in your life is all going against you. Never give up. These are lessons that we can learn from Cinderella. You can never lose your inner beauty. Please remember that all of us might have imperfections and uh, we, we're not made perfect. Only Christ was made perfect. But inside is where we find the true beauty in people. We're seeing an awful lot of that these days in people that are doing things to help their fellow man during this very, very difficult time we're living in. And the real lesson in life is how you treat people because all we have in this old world is each other. We'll talk a little bit about that when we finish the story this morning, but that's a little bit of an introduction to the Ugly Stepsisters, and I know you know the story, so here we go. I'll flash the pictures to you, and then uh, you obviously can't read the text yourself. I'll read that for you, but I'll start by showing you each picture, then I will read, and then we will show you the picture again. Are you ready? Here we go. Today was the day Cinderella's stepsisters and stepmother were to arrive. Cinderella and Prince Charming waited at the entrance to their castle. There they are, said Cinderella. Now we must be sure to make this a happy visit. After all, I have not seen my stepsisters and stepmother for such a long time. Yes, my love, said the prince, the handsome prince. Stepmother, Drizella and Anastasia, I am so happy to see you, said Cinderella. My Cinderella, how pretty you look, said the stepmother. Would you send our clothes up right away? The girls must have their beauty rest. We've had a busy day. Yes, stepmother, whatever you say, said Cinderella. Oh boy, look at all those boxes. It looks as if they're going to stay a long time, Jack said to Gus. Then they hurried after Cinderella to see if they could help. Look at all those packages, boxes. What a beautiful table, huh? The sisters and their mother went up to rest. Then they came downstairs just in time to eat. Cinderella had ordered the cook to make all the foods that the stepsisters loved. I hope you will be happy here, Cinderella told them. Of course, we will be happy here, said the stepmother. Why shouldn't we be happy, she asked. The prince watched them and wondered. How could his kind, beautiful Cinderella have such mean and ugly stepsisters? You can even see the looks on their faces. Don't they look mean? Look at the cat underneath the table with that mean look on his face. Already having eaten a few fish and thrown the skeletons away. After supper, the sister and their mother went to their rooms. Who does Cinderella think she is? She sure was showing off for us, sneered Anastasia. Yes, and I don't think the prince looked very happy. Do you, mother? Asked Drizella. Don't fuss so over Cinderella, my girls. You are both more beautiful than she is, said their mother. I just know the prince was wishing he had married one of you. Meanwhile, Cinderella and her prince were taking a walk. I wonder how long they will stay, said the prince. They don't seem to be very happy, even here. If only they each had a husband as nice as you, said Cinderella, then they would be as happy as I am. I know. Let's surprise them and give them a grand party, said Cinderella, and we'll ask all the fine men in the kingdom to it, said the prince. 
Oh, yes, cried Cinderella. Isn't it amazing how kind Cinderella is to her sisters, even though they're so very mean to her? That's a good lesson for us, isn't it? The next morning, Cinderella called her servants together. She told them about the party. It is a surprise, she whispered. Be sure not to let my stepsisters know. We'll say it's a party for some very important people. But the stepsisters had been hiding at the bottom of the stairs. They heard the word party. What is all this about a party, they wondered. They heard Cinderella say it was a party for important people. The sisters ran to tell their mother. See the sisters on the chairs there listening while the plans for the party are being made. Little did they know the party was for them, huh? Important people indeed, said the sister to their mother. She just wants to show off again. Don't worry, my dears, their mother said. Just listen to me. I have plans for Cinderella's important party. The sisters listened. Then they laughed. Oh, what fun, they said. Again, look closely at the, 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 the faces of those, uh, of Drizella and Anastasia, the stepsisters. Aren't those ugly faces? Wow. That's some pretty faces for a change, huh? In the library sat the prince and Cinderella. The prince called out the name of every single man in the kingdom. For each name, Cinderella wrote an invitation. A servant carried all the invitations into the hall. That night, the sisters crept downstairs into the hall. We will take care of Cinderella and her party plans, all right. They laughed at each other. Let's just put the invitations into the wrong envelopes. Then the guests will be very upset. They will not want to come to the party. Jack and Gus heard the stepsisters' evil plan. They waited until the sisters went back to bed. Jack and Gus overheard the stepsisters. I think they're going to try to take care of this situation, aren't they? There are Jack and Gus at work with those envelopes and invitations. We don't have a minute to waste, cried Gus. We must put the invitations in order or Cinderella's party will be ruined, said Jack. Gus and Jack worked all night. At last, the invitations were in order. The two little mice Jack and Gus fixed the invitations that were messed up by the stepsisters. Great work, guys. The next night, the stepsisters crept down to the kitchen. A little salt in the sugar, said Anastasia, and a bit of soap in the flour, said Drizella, will make a lovely cake sisters laughed at each other. Then they ran to tell their mother what they had done. Again, they did not see Jack and Gus. Aren't Jack and Gus good helpers? Yes, they are. The food for the party will be ruined cried Gus. There's only one thing to do, said Jack. We will have to pour out all the sugar and flour. Then the cook will have to buy more. Jack and Gus went to work. The next morning, the cook was in for a big surprise. There was sugar and flour everywhere. She hurried to the store to get some more in time to bake the cake for Cinderella's party. Again, nice work, Jack and Gus. Boiling the plans of the ugly stepsister aren't they? Meanwhile, Cinderella's servants were making beautiful party dresses. 
The dresses were to be part of the stepsisters' surprise. But the sisters found out about the dresses. They thought the dresses were for Cinderella. The stepsisters marched right into the sewing room. These dresses are not good enough for Cinderella, they sneered. Those ugly ribbons will have to come off. And with that, the sisters ripped up the dresses. Then they left the room. Now Cinderella won't have a single new dress to wear to her party. They laughed. They're mean tricks again, aren't they? I wonder how Jack and Gus are going to help in this situation. Cinderella came into the sewing room to see how the dresses looked, but there were no new dresses. There were just tatters and rags. Her servants were crying. They told her what had happened. Oh, dear, said Cinderella. I'm sure my stepsister just wanted to help. Don't worry. I will help you finish the dresses in time. How kind she is, whispered the servants. And how wicked those jealous stepsisters are. Great to have helpers. The kinder you are, the more people want to help you. Did you know that? At last, it was the day of the ball. While the servants were setting up the ballroom, the stepsisters put their cat to work. He ran through the ballroom and onto the table. Plates and silverware flew through the air. Get that cat, a servant shouted. Servants chased the cat all around the castle. What a mess. The cat seems to be having a great deal of fun messing up the ballroom, doesn't he? Oh my goodness. Oh my, what a mess, said Cinderella. A servant tried to tell her about the cat. Well, well, don't worry. I will help you clean up. We still have some time before the party, Cinderella said. Cinderella sang as she worked. Soon, everyone was happy and smiling. Gus and Jack helped too. At last, the ballroom sparkled and shined. Gus and Jack helping again. To the rescue. Isn't it great to find people who are willing to help in time of need? It is great. Cinderella's kindness inspired these people to want to help her. Meanwhile, the stepsisters were getting ready for the party. How embarrassed Cinderella will be. The guests will laugh at her when they see how her sisters dress for the parties. They said, this will teach Cinderella to show off for my girls, said the ugly stepmother. At last, it was time for the party. The guests began to arrive. I hear that Cinderella has two stepsisters, said one duke. I wonder if they're as beautiful as Cinderella, said another. I think Duke is in for a surprise if he thinks they're as pretty as Cinderella. What do you think? Soon the hall was full of guests. The dukes and earls waited for Cinderella's stepsisters to come down. The stepsisters and their mother walked to the top of the stairs. Ah! Oh no! The guests gasped. They cried out in horror because the stepsisters were so ugly. All at once, the men, young and old, ran for the door. They hurried to get away. Look at the expressions here on the faces of these men. Stepmother and stepsisters are so ugly, they can't wait to get away from there. Their, their eyes are bugged out of their heads, and they're running to get out of that place. Wow.
Oh dear, says Cinderella, I invited all these nice people to meet you, but who were the very important people you were giving the party for, asked the stepmother. Why, you were, said Cinderella, you and my stepsisters. Just then, the prince whisked Cinderella onto the dance floor. The ugly sisters began to cry. It serves them right. They are so mean and jealous, said Jack to Gus, and they laughed as they danced the night away. Isn't that a great story? The stepmother and stepsisters worked very hard to spoil the party. All the time, Cinderella had plenty of helpers with her, and she got the job done, and in the end, all the men who came to the party ran away because the stepsisters and stepmothers were so ugly. And in the end, the stepsisters and stepmother had to work so hard to ruin the party that had been planned just for them. Wow. Just like Jack and Gus said, what a lesson they had to learn. Remember again, always be kind, no matter what. Don't give up, even when people or a situation are against you got friends like Jack and Gus around to help you out, it's always good. You can never lose your inner beauty. And Cinderella never lost her inner beauty, and her outer beauty made her inner beauty that much better. And the real lesson is how you treat people in the end. And remember, in the words of a very famous old-time comedian, Red Skelton, all we have in this old world is each other. That's today's edition of Pleasant Pathways with Poppy. We'll see you tomorrow for another great story. Have a great day.